month at the new moon, we begin a new emotional cycle, and we have the opportunity to reset our goals and intentions. The new moon in Virgo is September 6th at 8.51 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, and this carries such special energy. What I'd like to talk about are the highest potentials that Virgo can manifest, as well as the shadow side that can come forward, because we always have choice as to how we use these energies. When we engage Virgo at the highest level, we're talking about service and humility. And of course, there is that organizational efficiency that goes on with Virgo, that cleanliness, that need for perfection. But it really is laced with that service vibe, which is so very beautiful. At the same time as this new moon, we're going to have Mars also in Virgo, and it's going to be in opposition to Neptune. And on the highest spiritual level, what this offers us is grace and forgiveness, because that's what Neptune in Pisces is really trying to bring about, the frequency of forgiveness and grace operating at that super high level. If you use this new moon in Virgo at the highest level, then you're going to be feeling those vibes and you can certainly channel this energy into cleaning up your diet, cleaning up your thoughts, and also cleaning and organizing your home, creating better feng shui, creating more life force in your environment. And certainly it's a time to be focused on all of that. It'll feel awesome because it's in the flow with what this moon is all about. But we have to also talk about the shadow side of Virgo because it is alive in the world right now. I'm seeing it so often, which is criticism, which is the editorial eye, which looks for the negative. And the shadow side of Virgo can also be fear and worry. Part of it is fear of making a mistake, and part of it is worry about things not being perfect in general on the bigger picture. Nobody can worry more efficiently than a Virgo. Be mindful of this, and if your thoughts start to go in that direction, change them. Do something with your energy that is creating organization and efficiency. Ground it into productive work and remember humility and service. Now, the other thing that's happening during this new moon in Virgo is Venus and Libra squaring Pluto. This is setting up a power dynamic energy that is so very important to understand because later in September, Mercury will go retrograde in Libra and will also square Pluto and it will square Pluto three different times. And then in November, Venus goes into Capricorn and makes a conjunction with Pluto several times over a period of several months. The bottom line on this is that Plutonian energy that is dealing with power structures. It is dealing with trying to transform our own inner power so that we live it, so that we are feeling empowered, body, mind, and spirit. This gets activated at the new moon in Virgo. It's multi-layered. Summarizing this new moon in Virgo, just remember the highest frequency is that ability to be of service without needing to call attention to yourself, without needing applause, just service for the sake of service. And remember to engage the Neptune and Pisces vibe because Mars is working hard to bring that forward, which is grace and forgiveness. We are all souls. We are all learning and developing in this earth plane, in this classroom of life. Nobody's perfect. Try to look for the good, not just what is wrong. And if you do that during this new moon in Virgo, you will cleanse your spirit. You will cleanse your body, mind, and spirit, and you will become healthier. I don't need to sound preachy, but really Virgo used well at the highest frequency is so amazingly beautiful. I'm sending you blessings and love. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.